Well, welcome aboard this edition of Wild Goose Adventures. We've been doing a lot of paddling, a lot of supping, a lot of foiling down here at Cotton Tree. Turns out there's a whole heap of things going on. The kiteboarding nationals are here this weekend. There's a lot of wind, a lot of swell, and it's going to be a hoot. Cotton Tree is on the entrance to the Maroochee River. The outside might be rough and there's a sandbar there, but the sandbags and all the work they've done, the water quickly passes by into the peace and tranquility of Maroochee Door. The other interesting part about Cotton Tree is it has two faces. The full force is taken by the sandbags that they've strategically placed and it can be quite rough inside in that first little bit. On a high tide, when the waves roll over all the waves and all the sandbars out the back, then on the low tide, however, those same waves break on the shallow sandbanks out the back, leaving this place tranquil and calm and certainly child friendly. Day one was blustery and the precipitation wasn't just from the rain in the squalls but also from the kite borders that seemed to be going up to the heavens and then doing their tricks and floating down. session seems to be like a big expression session the higher you can jump the more tricks you can do the better off you are the other thing about these big sandbags that are here at cotton tree is that when the tide's high it seems like there's a fair bit of action both in front of the sandbags and behind them The Weather Bureau's normal weather report has a disclaimer that says wave height might be 40% more than the average given here. Maybe that should be extended out to the rest of the forecast. My preferred time to be here on the SUP and just where this is perfect for me is about an hour after high tide there's plenty of water on the sandbanks for me to be able to foil and it also makes it easy to paddle in and out and the waves generated on that wind on tide is absolutely perfect day two and the weather cleared and certainly then we had this perfect location all under the backdrop of old woman <laughs>
Waters have gone home, everyone's packed up, the caravan park's relatively empty and Cotton Tree is back to being its pristine, normal, isolated self. That's it for this episode of Wild Goose Adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, that would be totally awesome. And until next time, smooth sailing. <laughs>